वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई सेल्फ कुसुमा स्टडिंग इन श्री वेंकटेश्वर कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेरियस बायोमास कन्वर्शन टेक्निक्स फर्स्टली वॉट इज बायोमास बायोमास इज अ रिन्यूएबल ऑर्गेनिक मेटीरियल दट कम्स फ्रॉम द प्लांट्स एंड द एनिमल्स बायोमास कंटेन स्टोर्ड केमिकल एनर्जी फ्रॉम द सन दट इज प्रोड्यूसड बाय द प्लांट्स थ्रू फोटो सिंथेसिस बायोमास कैन बी बर्न डायरेक्टली फॉर द हीट और कन्वर्टेड टू लिक्विड एंड गेशियस फ्यूल्स थ्रू वेरियस प्रोसेसेस these are the some of the biomass sources includes forest crops and residues industrial residues agricultural crops and the residues animal residues municipal solid waste and the sewages biomass conversion techniques uh, refer to the processes that transform uh, biomass into energy or the other valuable products uh, these technologies can be broadly categorized into physiochemical thermochemical and biochemical conversion process physiochemical conversion combines physical and the chemical techniques to transform a biomass including torrefaction hydrothermal conversion hydrothermal carbonization and supercritical fluid extraction thermochemical conversion involves utilizing the heat and chemical reactions to convert biomass into energy rich products such as combustion pyrolysis and gasification conversely biochemical conversion employs biological processes and microorganisms to break down biomass and produce valuable products such as the biofuels through fermentation and anaerobic digestion biomass conversion process involves thermochemical processes and biochemical process in thermochemical process combustion pyrolysis and gasification whereas in the case of the biochemical process anaerobic digestion and the fermentation the final products of this process includes uh, in the case of the combustion it is heat pyrolysis transport fuel a uh, biochar uh, gasification synthetic transport fuel in the case of the anaerobic digestion methane is the final product fermentation bioethanol thermochemical conversion it involves the use of the heat to convert biomass into energy and valuable products it is mainly used to convert low moisture herbaceous and woody biomass energy uh, there are three primary thermochemical conversion process uh, one is a uh, combustion it is one of the most straight forward and widely used processes it is a, it is the process in which fuel is burnt with oxygen to produce the heat and generate the steam it is the direct process of converting the biomass into energy it can be used in the various applications like cooking eating and power generation and cogeneration combustion is the process where carbon and the hydrogen in the fuel react with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water resulting in the liberation of the heat the combustion reaction is an is as follows fuel plus oxygen gives rise to carbon dioxide plus water this is the combustion process pyrolysis is a process which converts biomass into solid char liquid bio oil and combustible gases by the heating biomass in the absence of the air a pyrolysis can be classified as slow pyrolysis and the fast pyrolysis and depending upon the rate of the heating a slow pyrolysis occur over hours uh when the temperature ranges from the uh, 400 to 600 degree celsius here the heating rate is 0.1 to 1 it leads to the production of the solid carbonaceous char as a result a liquid and the gaseous products forms up, but in the low quantities whereas in the fast pyrolysis temperature ranges between 400 to 800 degree celsius here the uh, heating rate ranges from the 10 to 200 degree celsius for 1 to 10 seconds fast pyrolysis aims to produce the liquid fuel that is bio oil from the biomass therefore the features of the fast pyrolysis include high heating and a high heat transfer rate nextly gasification converts biomass into syngas by heating it and control environment with a limited supply of the oxygen uh, gasification is a thermal process which results in the a uh, large quantities of the gaseous products with low char and the hash formation the process is carried out at an elevated temperature of 500 to 1400 degree celsius pyrolysis is the one only step in the conversion process the other step are combustion uh, with the air and reduction of the products of the combustion into combustible gases that is carbon monoxide hydrogen and the methane the formation of the tar and the solid char during the gasification hamper the engine's efficiency hence it is usually advised to clean up uh, the producer gas 
this is the gasification process nextly biochemical conversion it is a process where the microorganisms break down uh, biomass to produce the useful end products the biochemical conversion consists of the following processes anaerobic digestion it is a process of breaking down biomass in the absence of the air this process leads to the production of the biogas which consists of a mixture of the methane that is 55 to 65 percent and carbon dioxide uh, 35 to 45 percentage and some impurities like hydrogen sulfide in traces about 1 kg of the dry organic material will produce about 0.036 m3 of the methane or 36 m3 per 1000 kg biomass in india anaerobic, anaerobic digestion plants are the gobar gas plants or the biogas plants in such process cow dung slurry is fed into the digester and the water it is then allowed to ferment for a few weeks the biogas thus produced is released and utilized as fuel for the furnaces cooking running uh, diesel engines etc fermentation fermentation is the decomposition process by the uh, microorganisms mainly bacteria and the yeast examples of the fermentation include the decomposition of the grains sugar to form ether alcohol and carbon dioxide by the yeast and ether alcohol for forming acetic acid uh, various processes have been developed to produce the uh, fuel from the fermentation ethanol fermentation of the biomass usually takes place at 20 to 30 degrees celsius so this process results in 90 percent of the liquid and 10 to 2 percent of the alcohol depending upon the tolerance of the yeast to the alcohol lastly uh, physiochemical conversion it is a process uh, which involves the physical and the chemical processes to convert the biomass into energy it is a process that encompasses the various technologies like temperature utilization uh, pressure solvents and the other physical and the chemical agents to modify the structure of the biomass let's understand the various type of the physiochemical process torrefication is a process involving the biomass heating in the absence of the oxygen here is a process temperature ranges between 200 to 300 degrees celsius uh, during the process biomass undergoes the various transformations like moisture removal and the volatile compounds the resulting biomass is thus known as the biochar or the bio coal it is used in the power generation as the solid fuel uh, or as the co-firing with coal hydrothermal conversion is a process that utilizes the high temperature and pressure in the presence of the moisture to convert the biomass into energy hence it is mainly consist of two common types of the biothermal hydrothermal conversion hydrothermal carbonization HTC is the process uh, that converts biomass into hydrocar or the hydrochar or the biochar by subjecting it to high temperature that is 180 degrees Celsius to 250 degrees Celsius and the pressure in the presence of the water. HTC can uh, convert a wide range of the biomass uh, feedstocks into a carbon rich material for the energy generation or as a soil amendment. Hydrothermal carbonization offers several advantages as a biomass conversion process thus it can accept many feedstocks including wet or the high moisture materials so if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thank you for watching